Hey you guys, welcome back. Today I'm doing a video on ways to earn money as a stay-at-home mom. So last week I did a live video, I'm gonna put the link right here for you guys if you missed it. And I was just doing like a mommy rant um, about being a stay-at-home parent and people's judgments and all of that type of stuff. I had so many emails and messages from you guys wanting to know how you can earn money as a stay-at-home parent. Being a stay-at-home parent is tough, and probably one of the most difficult things, I know for me anyways, is the financial strain it can put on your family, going from a two-income family down to a one-income family, while adding a bunch of children and all the costs that come with them onto that plate. So I've done a ton of things to earn money as a stay-at-home parent, and I'm gonna share some of my favorite with you right now, and then a few that I haven't even tried, but I know of other people who have been really successful. So here we go. I had to start with the one that is the most popular amongst us stay-at-home moms to use, and that, of course, is Etsy.com. When I first became a stay-at-home mom, I started my Etsy shop and I made uh, homemade hair bows, homemade tutus, jewelry, and I sold them in my Etsy shop. Whether you like to knit, you like to um, crochet, anything you like to craft, even if you're selling crafting supplies, or um, really it's endless. You can create a little shop. It doesn't cost anything to make your shop. They take a percentage, I think it's 15%, don't quote me on that, on the things that you sell. But if you love making this stuff anyways, why not create an Etsy shop? It's an amazing way to earn some extra money while working from home. My favorite thing to buy off of Etsy is definitely the printables. Milo's having a Star Wars party so I can get invitations and napkin holders, all that stuff from here. The people only have to design it one time and they can sell it over and over again. It's a genius way to make some extra money if you're good at graphic design. Next, I wanted to talk about daycare. Now, I know not everyone wants a bunch of bajillion children running around their house, like getting sticky fingers on their walls. I get it. But an easy way to still earn money, but not have your entire day dedicated to other people's children is before and after school care. You just have to take in maybe, you know, five kids at $10 a day in the morning and $10 in the evening, watch them for just a few hours, like an hour in the morning, two hours maybe at night, and you can earn a pretty decent income doing just before and after school care. Parents are always looking for extra before and after school care, especially if you live near a school or something like that. So you can easily, you know, put a sign in your front yard. That's what I did for before and after school care. And I posted some, you know, little ads on Kijiji or if you live in the States on Craigslist, things like that. Or local Facebook groups, you can just post that you're looking at providing before and after school care. I also let the schools in the neighborhood know that I was offering it because there's a lot of last minute parents like me who are like, ah, I need before and after school care and school starts in a week and all the daycares are full. And so um, the school secretary was able to direct some people my way and that's how I was able to get some people for before and after school care in my own little daycare. There are a ton of home-based little businesses that you can buy into, whether it be Scentsy, 31 Gifts, you know there's so many, just sort of like um, Tupperware or Avon where you sell the products. For me, I have tried these in the past and they have never worked out. It always cost money to get started in them and the amount of work and dedication I had to put in, I was not seeing the same income coming out. So for me, that is not a way to go. But if you have a product you already love, like, um, I don't know, Charmed Aroma Candles or something, I do love those, that could be a type of business that you might want to consider getting into. If you're loving them and talking about it with your friends and family anyways, why not start that and see if you can earn a few extra dollars a month doing it. I have to talk about blogging because as you guys know, I do earn money every month blogging. But I have to tell you, it took me five years of doing YouTube videos and blogging all the time and working like, I basically worked <laughs> 20 hours a week for five years and made zero dollars. So it is not something that you can start today and start earning money tomorrow, but it is something that over time can build into um, a money-making little business. Now, I would only recommend you ever, ever blogging if you love 
doing it anyways. Like if you love the thing that you're going to be blogging about and you're doing it anyways. If you love to bake cupcakes and you're like always baking cupcakes, why not video yourself and do cupcake tutorials? You might as well anyways, you're already doing it. If it's something that you're not passionate about and you don't love, blogging is a huge waste of your time. If you're interested in how you can actually earn money blogging, I will have some more videos coming up of how I earn money blogging. I'm going to be totally transparent with you guys and share all of that. But let me tell you, I can promise you I make way less than you think. Right now, I'm trying something new called Teachable. Teachable is this online sort of school that you can create different courses that you can sell. So everyone's sort of an expert in something. Maybe you're great at gardening, you can create an online how to design your garden course, or um, you like photography, you can do, you know, how to create beautiful pictures of your children course. I don't know, anything, literally anything that you are good at. You can make a, either a long or a quick little course and you can design it and create it and sell it through teachable.com. Now, I love this for the same reason I love printables. You have to put the work in initially to create something one time and then you can sell it over and over and over again. So I'm using Teachable right now. I'm creating a how to be an organizing expert course that can show people not only how to organize their own home, but how they can, you know, take that knowledge and organize client homes and hopefully grow their own uh, professional organizing business. So that's the course I'm working on now and I'm going to be launching that soon and it's a great way to earn some extra money without having to continually put work in. We all love that. So let's talk about some really creative ways that you can earn money that I haven't actually tried but I've seen other people do. And the first thing is dog walking. I know you're gonna be like dog walking but let me tell you I got a flyer in my mailbox somebody who wanted to dog walk um, she charged $10 for a half an hour walk and it was anywhere from a half an hour to 45 minutes and she could come at the same time every day. And I, I declined because I'm home, but I see her walking. She has her wagon with her kids and um, like five dogs that she walks and she's going for a walk. She's like wearing her workout gear and she's, you know, the kids are like, oh, walking with dogs. And I mean, if she's making 50 bucks a day for a half an hour walk a day, even if she has two groups of five dogs, so she's walking an hour a day, she's making a hundred extra dollars a day. She's getting out. She's taking the kids to the park. She's got the dogs. I mean, that's a really cool, innovative way. When I saw her, I got the flyer, I was like, well, this is a great idea. But when I saw that she was a stay at home mom with kids, it was like, she's a genius. I live just on the edge of suburbia. So I get to witness really cool, like suburban things going on. And I took my kids to the park the other day and we have a big park here. And beside like the kids were all playing in the park area and in the grassy area, all the moms were doing yoga outside doing yoga. One of these moms, I was really nosy, so I was <laughs> asking questions, but one of the moms is actually, I don't know, she must have, she had a Facebook group and she was teaching yoga classes for mommies, for stay-at-home mommies in the park. The kids were playing or there was like babies in the strollers and she was charging five bucks a class. I swear to you, she had like 30 people in her outdoor park yoga class and I thought that was a pretty amazing way to also earn some extra cash while doing something you love and also getting outside at the park with your kids. So it's an idea. If you're like a yogi, it's an idea and it's obviously working for her. Fiverr is a great place to sell your talents, whatever it is, whether you're good at graphic design, maybe you like editing books, maybe you like writing blog posts, whatever it is, you can sell those services on Fiverr. Basically everything on Fiverr is $5. So you can do like a quick, tiny little project and charge $5 for it. People who are musically inclined, they'll write little jingles. If you are artistic, you can maybe draw a little hand-drawn picture for somebody. It's really crazy the amount of stuff that you can find on Fiverr. And I buy a ton of stuff off of Fiverr, including the introduction to this video. Um, just so many things like I just I got my media kit done on Fiverr for $5. It's um, a great way to buy things, but it's an also a great way to sell things. And if you have a talent, definitely check this out. 
We all have something to offer, some little thing that makes us unique or some talent that we can use to not only share with the world, but also earn a little bit of money doing it. I'm hoping that you're feeling inspired. And I think the best thing about having a small little business, whatever it is that you do from home is, right now my kids are going to school full time and instead of being like, well, now what do I do? What am I, you know? Um, having that identity of a stay-at-home mom, but when they go to school, I think if I didn't have this little business that I grew, I might feel a little lost. So now I have something that I can really amp up and run with, and uh, I really recommend it. So no matter what you choose, even if it's just a hobby and earn no money at all, I think we all need something besides just being the awesome, cool stay-at-home moms that we are, because it goes by so quickly, and then they're in school, and then we're just like, what do we do now? <laughs> Anyways, those are some quick little tips to how to earn money as a stay-at-home parent. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you're inspired. If you have any other questions, email me at any time. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much, and I'll see you next time.